Okay. <coughs> uh, this video is going to seem a little weird because I'm going to put this at the very beginning just because I'm done eating now and I want to thank Chef Forte and tell him truly that damn buffalo rock, man. That sauce kicked ass on that buffalo. Terry liked it on her hot dogs. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Chef Forte, y'all get a hold of Chef. See if he'll uh, hook you up. I don't know, but it rocked that buffalo. So if y'all have any buffalo, that's where you need to get the sauce from. So that's all I want to say. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back next time. Okay. Hey, y'all. Friday night, August 1st. The last of a buffalo. <clears throat> Some of this uh, North Star Bison New York Strip Steaks. Terry's going to film me tonight. She wants to play my new camera. And before she goes to work, we're going to do a real quick video. It's going to be real quick. I'm going to put these on the grill tonight. It ain't going to take long. Bullshit sides. I'm going to make me a bag of instant potatoes. Uh, this ain't bullshit. Ranch beans with jalapenos. These are good. Terry wants me a grill or a funky ass hot dog. She not got eaten on my buffalo. I ain't eat buffalo. The main star of the show, though, is looky here what I got. Chef Bourquet's. What you call the uh, Cajun Bayou Man sauce. Chef told me that he asked me, he said, I wonder what this sauce it tastes like on bison. And I'm like, I don't know, but as soon as I get a bottle of it, we're going to try it. So I saved this last package of steaks. And I'm going to throw them out there on the grill. I've got my ch uh, chimney heating up now. And uh, one more thing. I'm gonna, later on this week, I'm going to do a... Uh, it's going to be hard for me to do, to let a beer set for three hours. But Bubba sent me... I left a sticker on it because this is an insulated beer can koozie thingy deal. And it's metal and it's double walled and it's a vacuum insulated. I figured by leaving a sticker on... I triple insulated it so this is made by thermos and uh, I sit here in the house last night all night long drinking and this was really worked good I really worked good I liked it uh, so uh, what I'm gonna do one night this week I'm gonna set a beer can in there and uh, a full beer can cold and uh, let's see it says it keeps us cold for three hours so I might let it sit two hours. And then I was going to say, out. a beer won't last three hours around here. Oh, well, well, no, I've got others I can drink. It's still, you'll drink that one before time's up. No, so what we're going we're gonna to do is a product review. I've never done one of them. <coughs> so let me get off here quit wasting your time. Uh, let Terry get used to my fancy new toy over there. And uh, yeah, the we're going to check is. out. Do what? The zoom on this is weird. Oh, yeah. You can get all my features now. I got you real close. <laughs> Might be scary. Don't get them wrong features. You'll get us barred. Chef Bourquet, thanks, brother. Uh, we're going to give us a shot on this buffalo. And it, look, it's just like a damn beer bottle, man. It, it ain't no twist off tap. I got to get my ball opener and everything. Look, you got a big B on there. That either stands for Bourquet or Bet Tag. I get either way. Oh. Both. There you go. So, there you go, <laughs> Chef. We're going to try this off. Uh, stuff. Oh, try this for bison, too. See? Three Bs. There you go. So, okay. We'll be back in a minute and uh, show you what we're doing next. Okay. Okay. Uh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, these uh, bacon and chipotle cheddar, uh, bacon and cheddar, chipotle, mashed potatoes, whatever. They're good. But the good thing about them, all you do is add water to it. Two, two cups of hot water and they're done. But I am going to tighten them up tonight. I'm going to use the last of my goat cheese. Well, maybe not the last of it. I'm going to use most of this, though. That's just plain goat cheese. I don't know. I don't need it. I know you won't. So, you got a funky little cheap-ass hot dog. Well, yeah, because I ain't got nothing else. Chef Bourquet, we're about to uh, bust a cap on this sucker. Need a spoon, Terry. Hold on. Pause. Okay. Okay, we got to shook up. Let's see what happens. Oh, yes. Oh, wonderful aroma. Smell. Mm, smells like barbecue sauce. Smells like barbecue sauce. Thick <laughs> sauce. Come on, get down there. Come on, I need enough taste and I need it to. Oh. And that'd be enough. That'd be enough. Give it a taste, Terry. Let Chef know what you think. 
She's picky, Chef. Ooh, I like that. Come here, spoonful. That's good. I would go back for seconds, but I don't do that. Here. Flying away. Sweet at first. Then I get a little heat at the end. Seems like I taste onion in there, Chef. <clears throat> I'm going to need to put more in there for my buffalo. Put some on my hot dogs, too. Oh, you want to no, know? Now she wants it on a cheap-ass hot dog. Screw it. There you go. Get that off of there. Yum! Chef, you got your winner there, dude. Yes, it's good. So, we're going uh, bison, bison. Uh, here we go. Pepper. No, I don't need pepper. We're using, uh, we're making Cajun buffalo tonight. So we got Cajun Joe's. Oh, Cajun. Tango Joe's Cajun rub. So that's what we're going to put on there. Not Cajun Joe's Tango rub. No. Y'all go see Tango Spice Company, man. Check them out. Google them. Tango Spice. You can't go wrong. Good stuff. So we're going to get out of there. Come on, I got the big hole opened up. There we go. I'm making Cajun buffalo steaks. So we're gonna put this all around here. Now I've been a purist with all the rest of this buffalo. Tonight I'm going on an expedition. <clears throat> this stuff has been so good though, y'all. I mean it's really good. That roast I made the other day, I did like a, a beef Manhattan out of it a couple of a day later. Like an open face roast beef sandwich. Except they used that, and man, that shit just rocked. Trust me, you ain't never got an open face beef sandwich to taste that good. So, we're going to let this set for just a minute. I'm going to get my charcoal out there turned out of the chimney. And uh, throw them funky ass hot dogs on. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Here's Terry's cheap ass hot dogs. Cajun buffalo. Uh, yummy, smells good. Wrap this up, let this set for about five minutes, ten minutes, something, and uh, we'll be back. Okay. Okay, uh, done. Here's Terry's bullshit plate. Fresh tomatoes, some of my goat cheese mashed potato, instant potatoes. Funky old hot dogs. Here's my plate. Cajun buffalo. Ranch beans with jalapenos and some goat cheese potatoes. So, let's cut into this steak and uh, see what we got. I think I overcooked this. No, maybe not. Wait a minute. I'll give you a money shot here in a minute. I was afraid I might have overcooked this a bit. But it doesn't appear that I did. No. Here, a little zoom zoom on that. Yeah, there's blood in that sucker. As you drop it. Oh, you was ready? Oh, I thought you already had it. Okay, now it is. Yeah, so let's give it a shot. Oh hell yeah! Oh, oh hell yeah! I gotta get this side. It's gonna be dark. Oh goddamn! Here, taste that. Taste that heifer. That is some good shit, man. Yeah. Mmm, chef, right on, dude. Oh, that's good, dude. I should have been doing my buffalo all along like this. So, Tango Joe's Cajun Spice, Chef Bourquet's Magical Seasoning Dust, damn, what do you call, uh, uh, Cajun Man Bayou Man Boogie, uh, Bayou Man Sauce. Bayou Man Boogie Sauce. There you go, Cajun Joe. Oh, uh, Chef Bourquet. Oh, damn, man. God, they are so excited here. This stuff is good, man. Look here. No lady wanted another bite of this damn stuff. It's that good, Chef. Sorry, move. Tango Joe, your stuff rocks on there. This really kicked this buffalo up a lot, man. Mmm, hell yeah. Yeah, I like it like that. 
I didn't like it the other day. Man, that is good stuff. Okay, I got a half a bottle left. I'm going to have to buy some more buffalo. I found something Terry likes. So, I'm going to go eat. Yeah, this is good. Y'all have a good one, and uh, we'll be back next time. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Shit, you can dislike if you want to. I don't care. You get some of those. Yeah. I'm liking my haters now, too. <laughs> Way to go, cuts. So, we'll be back next time.